not. Can't like underestimate a bit of good intel. Needed. All right, time to head back. I see, I see. We got new folks on the map. Say we were moving in sync, right, Tyle? Coordinated, but ineffective. Hey, it's you. Oh no! Uh. Spark's sake, Zeon! You lose yourself to emotion. Some special forces you are. You shut your trap. What a joke! You consider me the joke, do you? Really now? Hey, isn't he? Yeah. 
He's our friend. From Colony 9. That's where you're wrong. You're traitors. You're no friends of mine. Sir! Zeon, just listen! We don't want to... Drop it, you. Negotiation doesn't appear to be on the table. Mimi! <sighs> Arrest the turncoats! So we have to fight. What's wrong? Enemy attack! Agni forces! Wonder what's going on. <sighs> Commander? Yes. Uh, I'm thinking. Hey, what did you just say? Zeon's the commander now. Does that mean the old one... There was a change of command. Someone had to take the fall for the traitors. 
They even dropped our colony rank. We've been so pressed for food we had to venture out this far. All because of you. Well, crap. Go back! We'll take care of things here. I can't allow that. Just get going already! The Agnian Battalion. They're using terrain to cover their approach, am I right? How do you know that? I'm well aware that you don't trust me, I'm just speaking aloud here. We'll intercept the enemy troops, engage them while they're still advancing. They won't get their hands on the colony. You retreat and shore up your defenses. What are you really after here? Why is it you're fighting? We're both in very different positions now. But that doesn't have to mean everything's changed between us. Oh, well done. A voice of reason. Come off it. Wait. Change of plans. We're bringing them back to the colony. What? Why? You're handing them into the Consul. No. I'm integrating them into our force as the Vanguard. We're fighting with them. Mwamba died because of them. We're up against a whole battalion. Hardly the time for us to be picky. It's also possible that Ouroboros have instigated this attack themselves. Ugh, you can't be serious. You know exactly how serious I am. Fire and sparks! Hold up. Let's do as he says. What? Why should we? Just play along. We'll be better able to help protect Colony 9 if we're part of the plan. Plans? <laughs> if you say so. You have good friends. One day I'm gonna crack that thick bonce of yours and really see what makes you tick. I look forward to it. You lot head back and update Kite on the situation. I'll see to these ones. Meet me in command. As you say. <sighs> you said not everything's changed between us. Your words no longer have merit. So let's judge where your allegiance lies by way of your actions. I understand. We won't let you down. We got new folks on the map. It was worth the effort. <laughs> An ether channel. Let's stock up. Let's top up on ether. How's the supervising going, Mr. Commander, sir? Five by five? Yes, thank you. Now zip your mouth and let's move.
I'm impressed. You didn't run away this time. Uh. I'll explain what comes next. The rest of you are dismissed. Stay cool, Kite. I'm always cool. Tell us about Agnes's movements. Right now, they're assembling their forces on Everblight Plain. They've stopped concealing themselves, which feels like cause for concern enough. They're confident they have the numbers for a full assault, then. Or perhaps it's a feint. Or they're just a bunch of dolts who like pretending they have a plan. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Hey, we need a little levity sometimes. With enough food, we can draw this out. Give the word and we can even launch a raid. I told you, that's not going to happen. It would cost us too many lives. What then? Our troops are hungry, anxious, and quite frankly, more pissed off by the hour. You leave things like this, and we're going to fall apart by ourselves. We could just remove their reason for fighting you. What? In plain language, please. If we smashed your flame clock, it would alter the equation. If you smashed it? Uh, what? Well, now I know you're all jokers. Kite, biggest joker of all. This is why Kite always runner-up in life. No one can take serious with hopeless second-best attitude. Shut it, Riku. You, you really know how to hit a man when he's down, don't you? Why are you back here, anyhow? How'd you worm your way back into Zeon's favor? Meh. No worming performed. We don't need you here. I've had enough of seeing my friends die. Betray me. I can't deal with this dirt anymore. We feel just the same. Which is why we want to do as much as we possibly can to help. That's why we came back. Yeah. You're not fooling anybody. You need not believe them. But they will prove to be an asset. Huh. So that's it. You're siding with them in the end. You choose Noah over your own lieutenant. Again. That's not what I'm saying. Don't you realize how hard I'm trying here? Ugh! Spark this! Sorry. I didn't mean to complicate matters. On the contrary. Was this not your intent? I would have thought you'd be gloating by now. We can gloat if it makes you feel better. But you can't just judge someone in the heat of the moment. Whatever you might think, suspicion will be cast upon you. That is all I can say. Suspicious or not, isn't it about time you tell us this plan of yours? You said we'd prove to be an asset. I'll continue. Though we have a geographical advantage, our provisions and numbers are limited. That's what the enemy will be banking on. And that's where you come in, as the vanguard. Our sudden appearance will put a spanner in their works, and that will give you the edge you need, right? Seeing Keves and Agnes Bods fighting together and tearing up their front line is going to throw them off their game for sure. So we've got to fight independently, then. Better than being on a leash, I suppose. You seem to misunderstand. I'm not cutting you loose. You are still being regarded as traitors. Keep in mind that I shall be supervising your every action personally. Sir, yes, sir, Commander, sir. Do you have to? Let it go, guys. I'll send details of the operation to your Iris. The plan will commence at once. We're on it. We got new folks on the map.
Gotta show Xeon what we're made of. I expect great things from you before the Special Forces Lance. We'll be arriving presently. Uni? You okay? Just feeling wistful. This is where we went looking for fortune clovers, isn't it? Oh yeah! You really made a big deal out of that. Did not. Just wanted to wish upon one. All the others laughed in my face. Said I'd never find one here. Everyone but you guys, and Zeon. You must remember, you're not the kind of guy who makes fun of people when they're trying their hardest. You help people in need. <laughs> Listen, I know you've been through all sorts of crap, but you don't know the whole story. Oh, I'm sure. There is no such thing as a traitor who rebels without cause. Be it Kevis or Agnes. You've sent many of my comrades off. No. Time and time again, you saved the dead, helped survivors, even me. I know you do not make light of people's lives. So you understand? I do. But I can never be the friend to you that I once was. You don't give a set tree, do you? I wasn't talking to you, Lance. Excuse me? Maybe we can't go back to the old days. But we can build something new. Leave your platitudes for after. The battlefield awaits. Don't worry. We'll win. No one's dying on our watch. Never again. Time to move. Stay sharp. Find anything out of the ordinary. I'll issue the order. Right. Those vermin. support. Avenging in! 
Eagle! Hidden Thorn! Cross Impact! Take the offensive then. You want me to lead? I'll take point. There's a lot of them. This will be a battle of attrition. We can use the terrain for defensive advantage. First, we need to hurt their morale. Before that, we need to talk. I'll remain here and fight for as long as I stand. That's also part of the plan. It will be a grueling fight. I won't have time to be looking out for possible deserters. Hold on. Are you telling us to find a chance to escape? I never said that. But this battle should be of little importance to you. Spark's sake, Zeon. Just how rotten do you think we are? I see where you're coming from, but we're fighting on our own terms. We'll be seeing this through. We owe a debt to Colony 9. Maybe it wasn't for very long, but it gave us somewhere to belong. But not anymore. Just shut it, you! How hard is it for you to accept someone just wants to do a good deed? Hey, eh? Get a clue! Lance! How often does he need telling not to abandon himself to his feelings? Have you given in? <laughs> Still, might as well strike while the iron's hot. No! 
up for this. Want us to run him down? We aren't here to kill each other. Pull back now, and we won't pursue you. I'll bet you won't. Because you'll be dead. Levnesses. Always keep your ace in reserve. That's how the game's played. Uh. Don't falter. We have Kite and the others holding the fort. Yeah. And we'll hold the line here, whatever it takes. you following them I told you I don't want needless slaughter you're soft rookie commander let me tell you something you don't win wars while keeping your hands clean you're gonna learn that the hard way you'll see I guess we will. Don't let it get to you. I wouldn't normally, but in this instance, I'm afraid he struck a chord. I believe I said something similar to you in the past. We were sparring with training swords. You won in the end. I did, because you always held back. That's not true. <laughs> you hated the very idea of fighting. That's how it seemed to me. And back then, I thought you'd never survive that lofty idea. I was blind. If we don't stand for something greater, strife and conflict will grow ever fiercer. We would end up fighting not for the flame clock, but for our own bloodlust. That is who we are. It was never going to be easy. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what's right myself. But there's something I want to change. And to do that, I have to change myself. <laughs> the kite and the others pull through, okay? It seems we've averted disaster. For now. Not quite. There's still unfinished business. Zeon, I want you to understand the things we've seen. 
the truth about the flame clocks. Just let us explain. After that, we'll let you have the final say. As you wish. It also saves us an awkward silence on the way back. But don't get your hopes up. That's fine. Thank you. I'll round up everyone in the square. But first, to Colony 9. Do they really grow from her head? I can tell I'm being watched. He must be very wary of me. Heroes return. Good work, Theon. Where have you been? Just watching from the sidelines. And I must say, it was quite a spectacle. <laughs> In what way? Bed pop. I forget. You drones have no aesthetic sense. Your droll skirmish was one thing. It almost put me to sleep. But this here... Well, I'd say the colony is due a promotion. I recall no droll skirmish. The one where these maggots surfaced. Loads of little worms plotting together with Agnes, then deserting their duty like the cowards they are. Truly disgusting. A disgrace to the colony. And that goes for the ones who croaked for nothing, too. Even calling that droll is a disservice to the word. Croaked for nothing? I know you see us as enemies. But this... It's our friends you're talking about. Even Wamba. Back then... How dare you! Silence, maggots! You must still be tired from fighting. Rejoice, then! 
you will give me great pleasure as I crush you. What do you think you're doing? The words of an idle man who orders others around. Or the words of rebels who risk their lives for us. Which do you think is worth more? Silence! This is insubordination! on our dead. That would be you. Madness! You seek death, then, Zion. We want to live. That is why we fight. Prepare yourself, Consul B! Why, you... You good-for-nothing imbecile! All defectors must be eradicated! Zeon! Yes. Let's go! What? Eat this! 
Oh, 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 oh,